Hi everyone, Grade Power 60 here. And I hope I've been having trouble with the sound on my phone. So I'm hoping it's gonna be working okay. I'll check it out in the editing, however. So this is the bed that was in mom's room. Um, it's going to my son's, but we haven't, we haven't got a truck to get there. We're gonna ask a friend, if not, I'll have to rent a van from U-Haul to, you know, bring it over there. And it's too heavy for me to move. So right now I had it, don't mind the mess on the floor cause I'm throwing things on the garbage. Um, we, I have to clean these say, vents out where the heat is because I'm in the corner and I get the windiest corner of the building. It's always cool in my room and the heat is not, I mean, when I touch this, it's lukewarm, you know, but anyway, um, so that's why it's away from the beds, not away from there. Anyway, the bed is away from there. So I've gone through all of mom's drawers. There's a couple of things here I want to keep for her. Um, she may want in the spring or the summer. God bless her. Um, there's a lot of mismatched socks. So I'm going to throw them all back here. There's a couple of these new. I like wearing these around the house sometimes. And they got the grips. So we're going to throw that back in there all of that so i was just going through a lot of the underwear and things this is a pair of pants i like those so i might wear them for myself this pillow i've got to throw it out so anything anything that gets thrown out goes on the floor sorry i am um really just kind of uh holding this by hand and not really being very um thoughtful this also is for mom. So that I'm going to bring. Now these are my clothes. I wore these last night. There's some other stuff going on here. These have all got to go in my drawers. Now I also have mom's dresser over there that uh, I'll be able to fill up. And I'm not going to worry about it today because I'm going through mom's things and donation things and garbage things, I am sorting. Sorting and putting like in where it should be. So for now, this is underwear and socks and things like that I'm gonna go through. This was a padding off a pair of shoes that mom can't wear anymore. So it goes in there. And these are my clothes for today. I'm in my jammies. So this will be stuff I'm bringing to mom's. Now she's got plenty, but I know she, now I have, see, I have to wash this. I have to wash this. Um, I don't know if it's stained, it's tea, if it'll come out, but I'll try. But she loves that sweater and it's a zipper, which is great. It's hard for her to do, but the, the PSWs can help. And then that's clothes for me to put away. All right, let's. Let's go into the messy part of the house. Well, the whole house is a mess. Okay, white bags are garbage. This was my paper bin in my room and I started throwing garbage in there. So everything that's in there is going in the garbage. I just have to put it in a garbage bag. I gotta go through that. That is laundry. That's an empty case. That's laundry. <laughs> Once it's washed, then I'll know whether or not I'm getting rid of or donating. So, you know, you can't throw in dirty things. So, right now I have got Diabetic Association shoes in boxes. And these are shoes mom can never wear. I was supposed to donate them two months ago and never did. Diabetic Association, these are clothes. It's a lot of mom's clothes that she probably would not want to wear. Some of them are very low cut. Uh, in the front, she likes them up higher now. So those are those two. Now, come with me. I'm not gonna show you me because I'm still in my jammies and I didn't comb my hair today. This has become the room that I throw everything in that either has to go, that's going to be uh, donated, gotten rid of, um, et cetera, et cetera. 
got the packing stuff there. I've got my wool. You know, this is a lot of this in this corner. A lot of this is all to be sorted through and put in donation bags and dropped off at Value Village or a thrift store. Now, right now, I am going through all of mom's purses and some of them are practically brand new. I'm going in making sure there's nothing in them. And this goes with this and this. And I've already, there's already about five purses in this bag. And I'm going to keep this for myself because it's a great overnight bag. You know, if I ever decide to go to the gym, yeah, right. Um, or whatever, or just an overnight bag if I need it, or if I need to grab stuff and bring it. So anyway, these are the purses. So I've got four more to go through, put them in this bag, and then it goes over to um, the spot that I have for the Diabetic Association. Now, I have some more things here that are sewing related stuff. And this is Mum's. Mum has had this since I was a little girl. I'm gonna sit on the floor. Sorry about the jiggling. It pulls out like this. And this is all of her threads. Now, let's pull it all the way over and open this side. And again, so it's got a tear, a tear, the bottom, a tear, a tear, and the tops that flip, flip close. I don't know how long, some of these things I could, invisible thread, hmm, I think I'll keep that. So I haven't gone through this at all to see what the heck is in there, metallic thread. See, I could be using this for, uh, my craft stuff, but I'm wondering how long these are needles for, I guess, sewing machines or whatever. Uh, how long thread is good for, you know, um, you know, it could have been stuff my grandmother used when I was a little girl. Now that may have been thrown out and mom may have put in new, I don't know. But that is that. If you have any suggestions at all, ugh, there we go. If you have any suggestions at all, what to do, I'm really, really going to go through a couple of these because I do want to keep a couple. There we go. And it sits on four legs and it has this little that you can carry. And like I say, I mean, you know, look at the desk. Uh, any suggestions? I mean, besides donating, is there any suggestions? Put them in the comments below and let me know. Um, I've got some, I'm just gonna be going through, this is a lot of sewing stuff. It's gonna go with it. You know, I'll probably end up donating it to a, Push this over. Sorry. I know I'm wiggling a lot. Um, I'll probably end up asking um, some retirement homes if they want it. It's up to them. This is all full of sewing stuff for sewing machines and for sewing. So that is what I'm up to. First of all, getting everything that needs to be donated or thrown out, out of here. Uh, I'm not touching my shelves at all. Excuse me while I get up. All right, I've got all the purses in here. I'm going to bring them out and put it with the other ones. I'm gonna tie it up. I was using some pink envelopes that I have. If I have another one, I'll put it on there. I'll tie it in a knot, staple on a note, so that they know what's in it. So those are the three that are gonna be donated. I missed the last donation. So unfortunately, I think this, I might be able to uh, phone and drop off. And that way I can get it out of here. Um, the suitcase is gonna go back in storage downstairs. That's gotta go, I gotta go through that. Now, the 
other thing I've been doing, oh, this is what I started out doing and it's a friggin' mess, is I emptied, except for that shelf there, I emptied everything out of here, washed it down. I have way too much cleaning product I don't need. I've got lots of stuff. I'm keeping this one because it has all the garbage bags in it. This is my SOS pads. These are some rags. These are some uh, sponges. I've got these two. This is almost empty. It's probably dry. Probably goes in the garbage. Um, I've got a bottle brush and I've got this brush that I use. So, and then I've got these three chickens. I don't like this kind of decor. However, if you're a farmhouse and you love chickens and stuff like that, and you live on a farm or you live, have a farmhouse feel in your um, home, I'd love to be able to send it to you, but they're too expensive to send. So I'm going to wash them off because they're dusty. They've been up on my fridge. Wash them off and take pictures of them and send them off and maybe I can get five bucks for all three. I don't care. I just want to get rid of it. The other things I'm going to be doing, but not today. I have more cups and saucers than I need. That is going. Um, there's some glassware up there. Stuff in here I don't need. This one isn't too bad. I've got a few things up there. Um, I may or may not get rid of yet, but the worst. This has always been my kind of pantry for hmm, cooking, baking supplies, etc. Up there, that stuff has been up there ooh, since we moved in, maybe. So it's all garbage. I'll check the uh, expiry date on most of them, and I bet you it will say 2021, 2022. So we'll be going through those two cupboards, getting rid of stuff. Now, I did a lot of cookie making and things like that. So in that basket on top of my fridge, and in these two baskets were supposed to be for like chips and snacks and stuff. They ended up, I've got Anything I want to make with candy melts is in those baskets. So I've got three baskets of candy melts. This is the cleaning products that were in my under my sink. I'm going through them. And what I don't need, what's half empty, what needs to be thrown out will be thrown out. Um, I can't get this uh, CLR. Now, I'm a smoker. Everybody knows that. This CLR grease magnet I used in my old apartment and washed down all the walls. You would not believe how clean and how yellow, of course, the rags were. I went through a lot of rags, but I can't get this anymore. I have to find another product that is a grease remover. And that is the best thing to use if you're a smoker and you want to wash your walls. Or, if you're not a smoker, but if you um, are in the kitchen and you don't clean behind and it's splattered with grease, it takes it right off. It is amazing how it breaks down that grease. So, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm not doing a lot. I'm doing a little bit at a time. I know this is messy. I know I'm leaving it a mess. Um, I'm washing containers. But if I split myself too much, see, you've even got cleaning products in this basket that I used when I was working with my girlfriend cleaning houses. And I've got more in the cupboard. They need to be gotten rid of. Oh, so that is what I have been up to. Um, I have, I'm, I'm going to do an update with uh, talking about mom. I'm not going to do that today because there's a lot that has been going on and um, I don't want to get into it right now. So I hope you'll look forward to an update on how mom's coping, what's going on over there. 
how I'm coping, what I've been doing. Um, I'm rearranging things and moving things around so that I can go through stuff. I have to sell this. I don't care if I get $100 for it. Um, I have to sell this big unit. It's terrible. And all the glassware in there that I'm not keeping, all the crystal um, that I'm not keeping is going to be donated. Um, yeah. Uh, I got to try and remember the girl that bought my set. I'd like to give her this cream and sugar set. Um, and if I can find any mugs, I mean, I know she probably needs more. There's another one up there. I may see if she wants to buy that, you know, maybe $20 or something, and I'll add that with it. But there's a lot of glassware that I'm, I'm never going to use. There's crystal in here that was my mom's and my grandmother's. My children don't want that. I have no other relations to give to. So why not give it to the Diabetic Association and uh, let them, if they can, sell it, make some money, and hopefully some of that money will go to research. I am going to keep a few things, like my mom's clown. My mom used to love clowns, absolutely love clowns. And I have kept this curio cabinet that belonged to my mom and dad. I grew up with this. Uh, I don't want you to see me. You're going to see me anyway. I grew up with this. It's small, it's narrow, and it doesn't take up much space, but it holds a lot, especially down at the bottom. And I've got all of my trinkets in here that I've saved that I have not decided what to do with yet. Um, I'm just not sure. Um, there are some, some things that my son bought me that I really, really wanted. Like these dog salt and pepper shakers. And this is my mother's little golf. Mom was into golfing. This was my grandmother's. And it's... Those precious moments and uh, the music. It's a little music thing. There's another precious moments here. That it was my grandmother's. The This is a cat my daughter bought when she was a teenager. And I think it was one of her first earnings. So I've kept that. Okay. Now, these mugs were bought in Germany in 1970. Mm, two, I think, 71 or 72, along with these two little salt and pepper shaker, which are monks. And I am hard bit to get rid of them. I really, I really, I don't want to get rid of them. I did, I think at one time, I gave them to my brother because they, they used to like to drink wine and stuff with their meals. And... Um, his wife at that time, not the present one, one before, um, didn't want them anymore. So said, I want them back. So I have them there. So that is my Germany stuff. I've got a, other, other things that are, uh, are, um, Roy Royal Dalton, I was going to say, are from Germany. And I'm going to put my clown here. Now it's not organized or anything, but that's, that's all I want. If it doesn't fit in there now, it's not going in there. So anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. Just wanted to let you know, it's a lot of work going through. And can you imagine if mom had passed away, all of the stuff that I would have to go through? I mean, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. She's in a home, she's not coming home, and I'm going to have to go through everything. Plus, I still haven't gone through all of my craft stuff. That's that's going to be taking second place, unfortunately. Um, on, on the sofa is a big pile of clothes, beautiful, beautiful clothes that Mom had hanging. They're dresses, mostly, and Mom doesn't wear dresses anymore. Um, so they're all going to be donated as well. So I just put them over there to put them in a bag. So the Diabetic Association is going to have quite a bit of stuff. And if I get fed up with it in here, I'll call them and see where I can drop it off. And that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me. Um, 
I've been sleeping a lot. Um, sometimes I get busy at night and I don't go to bed till like two or three in the morning, but I'm sleeping in. I wake up, I call and see how mom's doing. And uh, I go visit her. And then I come home and uh, start doing this all over again. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.